Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you guys a ship with me video. I know I haven't filmed one of these in a little bit. I did go kind of MIA. I was dealing with some car trouble. So my car, which I drove for over eight years, was my very first car. It finally died on me for the last time a couple weekends ago and I have been dealing with getting a new car. I basically just wanted to drive my first car, you know, until it was a very dependable car, but you know, I knew that at some point I would have to get a new one. So I was kind of anticipating it, but you know, you never know when it, it's exactly going to happen. So I was a little caught off guard, had to go, you know, car shopping, the whole, the whole thing, but I picked out a Toyota RAV4. I'm so excited about it. I love driving it and just feeling, you know, like it's it's very stress-free going from point A to point B now. So I'm so happy about that. That truly was a blessing. And um, so I'm back now and I have some shipping. You will notice that um, I do have a lot of bedding <laughs> that I sold. That might sound kind of weird. I don't typically sell bedding or linens or anything like that, but I, about a month ago, I was at the Goodwill outlet and I noticed that they had a whole lot of parachute home items strewn about the bins, like a huge amount of linen duvet covers and pillowcases and quilts. And I was unfamiliar with the brand. I quickly looked it up and I saw that it was a very hot brand. So people are searching for it. It's, you know, the brand seeks out influencers to promote the bedding. It's just really, really high quality, really nice stuff. I don't exactly know what it was all doing there. Some of it was brand new but most of it was like new condition or gently used. And so I bought all of it that I found because it does keep its resale value very well. And let me see, I have a list of what I got. I think I got 17 linen duvet covers, a couple quilts. I got a shearling, a genuine shearling mattress topper robes, lounge sets, all kinds of stuff. I'll talk about it a little bit more. I'm filming a haul later, so I'll talk about it a little bit more there. I'll show you the lounge sets that I got. Um, I did sell a couple robes to show in this ship with me video. So yeah, that's another side note. And last thing that I will say before we get started, I did get a new camera. If you guys notice that I was having a lot of uh, feedback from you all saying that there was static or background noise from my old camera. So I did want to upgrade just to give you guys, you know, a better viewing pleasure. Um, I know that's annoying when there's white noise going on. So yeah, hopefully this is better. I did get a mic, a microphone also. So feel free to let me know your thoughts on that. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So our first piece, you know what, I'm going to skip this one because it's on the very bottom and it's really heavy. There's stuff on top of it. It's a quilt. So our second piece is this lovers and friends dress. It's more of a gown and this is like a prom dress or, you know, you could wear it to like a gala, um, but it's really, really pretty. It's strapless, high, low, it has ruffles. I'll insert a picture of it so you can get kind of a better idea of what it looks like. So I did buy this dress from my friend slash neighbor. She um, just wanted to get rid of it. And so I bought it from her. I paid 200 for, I want to say like 10 or 15 pieces of clothing. So... Um, I don't really know exactly what I paid for this just because in my mind I paid more for this and less for a lot of the other items so um, you can't really just divide it out evenly but I will say I have sold three of the dresses that I purchased and I am at break even now and I think I have maybe five or six more dresses to go that I think will sell really well and then a couple other kind of random pieces so 
all in all, it was a pretty good pickup just because, you know, I didn't have to go out and shop, drive around. That always, you know, I'm always willing to pay a little bit more if I can cut, cut time with, you know, sourcing and um, time is money, basically. So yeah, I had this listed at 150 and the buyer purchased the dress outright, which was great. My earnings came out to 120 and like I said, I'm at, you know, break even now. So I need to go ahead and get everything else listed that I got that day. Next, we have a bundle of three pieces. First piece is this American Eagle polka dot jumpsuit. Super cute. It ties in a couple places in back with some cutouts. I grabbed this from the bins just because it was super trendy and also because it was the newer American Eagle tag. Um, so I could tell that it was a little bit more of a more current piece. Second item in the bundle is a new Tags Free People tank. This is precious. It has crochet and lace details. This is the back. More cutouts. I ordered this from Elux, or you may know her as eBay Princess over on Instagram. She is amazing. Very inspirational. I would highly suggest you follow her on Instagram. Um, she is an amazing businesswoman and I ordered a five piece new attacks free people box from her. So I paid about $15. You know what? I'm going to add the third piece in the bundle. Let me make sure this is, yeah. So this is a third piece. It's by Suburban Riot. It says my horoscope said so. I actually ordered this from the thread up outlet online and I knew that this would do well because I said it in the haul but zodiac stuff has been very popular very trendy and graphic t-shirts always kind of fly out of my closet for me so this is a really fun trendy bundle I like this a lot and um, the buyer bundled the three and I sent her an offer of $75 with discounted shipping, which she did accept. Making, making my earnings $57 with 54 cents. I paid about 23, 23.5 for this bundle, $23.50. And so my net profit came out to $34 with four cents. So not too bad. I did. So with this kind of bundle, I did with me paying up for the other two items, it's almost like I just kind of threw in the American Eagle jumpsuit for free because I got that from the bins. So I, in my mind, I look at it as I paid, you know, a dollar or $2 for that jumpsuit at the bins to be able to throw it in if I need to. And then I made 34 for the other two items. So you divide that by two and I made a pretty decent profit on the other two items. Um, that's just kind of how I look at it. Basically, you know, the moral of the story there is I love shopping at the bins because I can pick up pieces that give me more wiggle room when it comes to items that I paid up for. I hope that makes sense. That's just kind of how I, how I look at it. Next we have Mod Cloth Swim. This was another piece that I ordered from ThreadUp's online outlet. I paid $6.50 for each piece that I did order. And this one sold for $20. I had it listed at $25. I listed it a little bit lower because the padding was missing. And it also had a little bit of um, maybe like fake tanner, just a little bit of something on the inside lining. So I listed it just a little bit lower and I received an offer of $20 for it, which I accepted, making my earnings 
$16. Once again, I paid $6.50 for it. So my net profit came out to $9.50. So with this thread up stuff, um, I would like to make back on average $20 on each piece. I was looking at what I've made so far from selling the pieces and so far from everything that I ordered, I ordered 72 pieces. I've sold 13 so far, I believe, and I've already made back half of my money. So I'm doing pretty well. Um, and you know, once again, when you cut time by um, not having to go out and shop, you know, you're going to make probably a little bit less profit because that means that you paid up more. But, um, you know, if it's easy to order stuff from home and have it come straight to your door, you're saving time with shopping. And so that converts. It's, it's kind of complicated, but, you know, if you really sit down and look at it, um, it all kind of averages out in the end. So next we have this Free People 100% Linen Shark Bite Hem Tunic Top. This was also in that thread up haul. Once again, paid $6.50 for it. Where's my scissors? Okay. So this piece I listed at $45 just because I feel like it's a little bit more of a substantial piece from Free People. It's from their new Romantics line, which is a little bit more, I would say, intricate than just their house label. It was also made of linen, which is a little bit of a higher quality fabric than something like polyester. You know, linen is natural, it's breathable, it's really nice. and. So I listed it higher at 45. I received an offer of 40 for it, which I was ecstatic about. I did accept making my earnings $32 and my net profit 25.5. So that's great. Next up, Okay, we have a parachute linen duvet cover. And I actually have them all pre-packaged just to make it easier on myself. And so I have like a code name for each of them and I wrote it on the box after I packaged it. And then I put it into the S the SKU section on the listing on Poshmark. So it's hidden to buyers, but I can see it. And I just match up the SKU number to the box when it sells. It makes it super easy. And I don't get confused because I do have a lot of duplicates like, you know, a queen, queen stuff and king stuff. And um, yeah, so I have a lot of duplicates of it all. So. I did that to just get less confused. Okay, next we have a three-piece bundle. First off, we have this J. Crew boy button-down plaid shirt. I got this from my local family thrift center outlet. I paid $2 for it. I've had this for a while. I would say maybe about a year now. Um, it is a really cute shirt. I just think that kind of more basic staple pieces from J.Crew like this take a little bit longer to sell. Second item in the bundle is Sincerely Jewels. It's a navy sweatshirt. This is called the Kara sweatshirt. And this as well as the third and final piece in the bundle were both thread up items. Um, I picked this up because Sincerely Jewels is a brand that is pretty popular. It's been discontinued, so people look for it on the resale market. That's always a good thing to know is when something has been discontinued because then it usually gets more popular on the resale market since it's not on the retail market anymore. And lastly are these 
Pilcro lemon printed jeans. How precious are these for spring and summertime? So cute. So this bundle, the buyer, I believe the buyer sent me an offer of $65, which I accepted making my earnings $52. I paid about $15 for everything. Making my net profit $37 for this bundle. Okay. So once again, kind of like that American Eagle jumpsuit that I was talking about, I kind of just threw in this J Crew shirt to the bundle to uh, basically get the profit that I was looking for from the other two items that I paid $6.50 each for. Um, just having that low cost of goods item really did help me once again, you know, have some wiggle room for accepting this offer on the entire bundle. Okay, next up we have a two-piece bundle. First piece is this Jodiful cactus printed tunic blouse. Really pretty. It has a little um, keyhole opening detail at the neckline and both of these pieces once again were from that thread up haul and the buyer was very sweet she said that she does watch my channel so thank you so much for purchasing for me if you're watching this now there are a couple loose threads here at the bottom i'm just going to snip those off and the second piece in the bundle is this high high size large really cute printed romper um i just thought that both of these pieces were super trendy which is why i grabbed them initially romper styles always do very well for me especially you know in the warmer months and also cactus prints are huge anything you know with plants always just kind of flies out of my closet for me so the buyer sent me a $55 offer on this bundle, which was great. I accepted. My earnings were $44. And for both of these pieces, I paid $13, making my net profit $31. So thank you again so much if you're watching this. Alrighty. Next up, we have a dress. This is Eliza J. This is another piece that I have had for about a year. I would say it's a striped dress and then it has lace on the sleeves as well as a contrast red zipper in back. This is really cute. You could kind of dress this up or down. You could wear it to the office or you could wear it to you know, brunch with some little sandals. It's like that ponty knit, which I personally really like. It's a really, you know, nice, substantial fabric. And this piece, I believe I had it listed at maybe like 28-ish, and I received a very fair offer of 22. So I accepted making my earnings 1760 and this is pretty lightweight i probably paid about a dollar for it at the houston goodwill bins so my net profit came out to 16 dollars and 60 cents for this piece next up we have, okay, so this is super cute. Once again, another thread up piece, very newly listed. 
It's an Anthropology mixed print blouse. It's 100% cotton, very lightweight. This is adorable and I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it is a sub brand that was either once sold at Anthropology or still is. I found a very old stock photo from Anthropology of this blouse, and so um, that's why I was confident listing it as under Anthro. Um, but ThreadUp was not aware that this was sold at Anthro, so they just had it listed as what the tag says, which was um, why they didn't mark it as high. And this top sold for $32. I think the buyer sent me a $30 offer on it, which I countered to $32 because that would make my earnings $25.60 and my net profit $19.10. I think I already mentioned it, but I'm really aiming to make about $20 back from each piece. And I spent $500 total on 72 pieces. So if I get $20 back times 72, that's $1,440, which I think is would be an awesome return for, you know, shopping online. Okay, next, another Parachute Home Linen Duvet. This is a Queen Duvet, Linen Duvet, and it is in the color Bone. It's really a really pretty cream color. Um, and this one sold for $135, making my earnings $108. It weighs five pounds, so I paid about $10 for it at the bins, making my net profit right around $100 on it. That was kind of my goal with each of the linen duvets was to make back $100 each. I definitely could make a little bit more, but, um, you know, I think making $100 each is an amazing profit and you know I'm able to give someone a really nice bedding piece for their bedroom at a great cost. So you know that makes me happy. This is another one, another linen duvet cover. This is um, also in the color bone. This one also sold for $135 making my profit once again, 108, and I made right around $100 on it. Okay. Okay, so this is a robe from the brand. You know what, I, I'm gonna have to build a big box really quick to put this robe in. So this is box number seven from USPS. I order it for free online. I do have the list of everything that I order from the post office in the description down below. I also uh, leave links for all of my shipping supplies down there as well. If you guys are interested in, um, or if you guys need any kind of shipping supplies and you don't know what to buy, I have links for everything down below. Okay, so this is the Parachute. It's Parachute Home. It's their classic bathrobe. It's basically like a terry cloth bathrobe. Very luxurious feeling. And this does feel brand new. Um, I don't think it was ever used. I did not say that in the listing because there's no way for me to verify that. And I don't know what that is. Um, so I'm just going to line the bottom of the box with a sheet of paper and then add in the robe. I'm 
Okay, let me try to fold it just a little bit. I have never shipped a bathrobe before, but there is a first time for everything. Okay, that's kind of almost folded. I'm sure she's going to, you know, throw it in the wash as soon as she gets it. So I don't think wrinkles are a huge deal. And then I will add another sheet to the top of the box. Add in a thank you sticker and this robe I had it listed at 60 I got a I forget how much she offered initially but we did settle on 40 for it um, if it were brand new with the tags I probably could have gotten closer to 70 like I mentioned a lot of this parachute stuff is extremely popular People are actively searching resale platforms for, you know, parachute home, robe, their waffle knit stuff, which I will show you next. I have a piece of that also. It seems to be the most popular. That's what their loungewear is made of, the kind of waffle knit texture. So this robe sold for 40. My earnings were 32. It, it was kind of heavy. I would say it was a couple pounds. So I probably paid about $4 for it at the bins, the Goodwill outlet, making my net profit $28. Okay, and then next, I'm going to make one more large box because I do have one more row here. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to line the bottom of the box with a piece of paper. This is the robe, the second robe. This is that waffle knit I was talking about. It's just a really nice fabric. They both have the ties. I don't know if you could see the tie on the last robe, but they're both there. And that last one is a size small. This one is a size large. And this one actually had a flaw. The robe was kind of or the tie on the robe was split open for about a foot section obviously I noted that and it still sold for $50 so that kind of shows you that this stuff is in demand and desirable. So I had this robe listed at $60 as well and I received a $50 offer on it which I accepted making my earnings $40. I probably also paid about $4 for this so my net profit was $36 on this robe. I am ecstatic about that. Okay next a blouse. One more thread up sale. This is Zara, it's a novelty print. It has little beetles all over, like the insect, super cute. I ordered this because of the novelty print and also um, it has a little Peter Pan collar and it's a size large. So it has quite a bit going for it. Um, I call them marketability points because um, that's, you know, I've been doing this so long, that's just kind of how I think about it. I look at a piece and I say, okay, how many marketability points does it have? So this one would have three or four with the size, the style, the print, um, and it sold very quickly. So you can almost make this into a formula um, if you really want to. But, um, yeah, it's also a lot about gut feeling because sometimes, you know, something can have zero marketability points, um, when you look at it on paper, but, um, you know, it might have something going for it that just for whatever reason makes it sell very quickly. So, you know, there's exceptions to every rule, but, um, the more you resell, the more you will figure out all of these things, I guess. So I received an offer. I had this listed at 25, I think. I got an offer for 20 last night. I accepted. 
My earnings were 16. Once again, I paid 6.5 and so my net profit was $9.50. And our last sale to pack up. Okay, so this was the one from the very beginning. Let me bring this box up here. Uh, this is a reused box. This is from Sam's Club. Um, and this is a linen quilt from Parachute. And this I didn't sell very well. So I had it listed, I want to say like $195-ish, and I sent an offer out of $150 with discounted shipping just because I kind of wanted to move all this stuff. It is kind of taking up a lot of room in my office. And someone did accept. My earnings were $118 with 50 cents on this, but I did all in all pay about $32. So it weighs eight and a half pounds. My shipping that I had to pay was $13.50. I had to upgrade the shipping label to an eight pound label. And then I paid $18.60 at the bins for it. So my net profit on this came out to $86.50, which is a little bit less than, you know, that $100 mark I was wanting for each piece. But honestly, I can just, you know, price something else a little bit higher. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm happy to get this huge box out of my office and so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this video was a little bit hectic. I am kind of getting back into my groove. Um, it's been a chaotic 2021 for me, but I am just chugging along and I do have a thrift haul that I am about to film later today. I think I have... I don't know, I have a whole lot of items, maybe like 60, 70 ish. And that is an outlet thrift haul. I have everything pictured already, so I will get that stuff up. And yeah, I'm excited to just continue working and sharing my process with you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching and always being so supportive. I saw some people saying that they missed me. That's so sweet. That really does make my day um, when you know, you guys leave me really nice comments like that. So thank you and I will see y'all soon. Bye guys.